So I've been asked by a couple of clients and prospective clients over the last few weeks, why do you call it a wow statement? And, and why does it matter? You know, I have my, my why figured out and, or my personal brilliance, as I've heard some people call it. And it's like, it's different. There's a big difference. So let's talk about the why. You've probably heard the phrase that nobody cares what you do until they know why you do it. Okay, that's true, to a degree. And whether you call it your why, whether you call it your personal brilliance statement, what, you know, what makes, what drives you to do what you do, all of that is important and all of it can be too much for someone new to you or uh, a prospective client for them to truly get what you do. It can be too much up front. Think of it this way. If you meet somebody for the first time and they get in your face like this and they're like, hi, and here's what I do and here's why I do it and, and, and I'm really amazing and, and I'm wonderful, you're like, whoa, back off. Give me some space. And so um, in doing that, it's, you can overload somebody. We're all busy and we all need little nuggets, little nuggets to go from one to the next, to the next, to the next. And <clears throat> stating your passions and your deep desires up front <clears throat> can be very overwhelming. So this is where, um, you know, the positioning statement and the wow statement come into play. But before we go there, you know, what is really great <laughs> about your why and what is really great about your personal brilliance, whichever wording you want to use, is their accountability for you. They help drive you on those really rough days. It helps drive you when you're having doubts and you're frustrated with everything that's going on. You know, you can bring that out and remind yourself about this is why you're doing what you're doing. And, and it can help whether it be re-inspire you or whatever the case may be. And so it's very personal focused. It's very, <clears throat> it's all about you. Where when we switch over the mentality to a positioning statement or a wow statement, it becomes about your next best client. And that's different. That's really different. So a positioning statement is the official business terminology. The downfall with them is positioning statements can be a little long. A wow statement says the exact same message, but is often a little shorter. And when you have the right wow statement, this wow statement often becomes the most amazing business tagline you've ever come up with mine is building brands worthy of going viral. That's my tagline. If we were to meet at a networking function and you were to come up, introduce yourself and say, hey, what do you do? I would say, hey, my name is Melanie and I build brands worthy of going viral. That's literally my wow statement. And I can tell you every time I say that, the exact reaction I get is, whoa, I'm worthy. Why am I not viral? Almost verbatim. Every time, that is the exact reaction I get. That's pretty powerful. And that's where the wow statement comes into play. There's no commitment. They don't know me from Adam. They don't know me from anybody. It's just a general question. It's a tiny nugget. That's why the wow statement is so powerful. It's simple. It says everything it needs to say without being overwhelming. When they're interested in that, they then want a little bit more. And this is where the positioning statement comes into play. Because a positioning statement often talks about who you work with and the value that you provide. So it's a longer version of the wow statement and is more typical business terminology and gets to the point quicker. So that's where the positioning statement comes into play. And then from there, maybe you go into uh, <clears throat> depending on how the conversation is going, you can go into your personal brilliance statement. You could go into um, your why if it's relevant. It's kind of one and the same, but whichever one 
whichever terminology you prefer to use. And, um, and then maybe some free content and you see how the nuggets piece together. That's what we're trying to do. That's exactly what we're trying to do. And uh, so there is a difference between a wow statement and your why statement. There's also a difference in when and how you use them. And when you use them in the appropriate way, you get better results. We don't like to feel overwhelmed. We're all busy. We like these little nuggets. So when we can have these little nuggets and <coughs> it creates curiosity, it generates interest. You know, when you go to a new company's website and you can see this very succinct message that says, boom, this is how I can help you and this is why we're so cool. That's a wow statement. That's pretty amazing. But if you have to go to their site and they talk about, oh, we do this because of that, blah, 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 blah. It's great that they're passionate and, and they have a deep love for what they're doing. But right now, right up front, I want to know the value they provide. W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me? Tell me that first so I have a reason to be interested in what you're doing and why you're doing it. So share with me below what your wow statement is and any other thoughts you have on wow statements versus why statements and looking forward to interacting with you. Have a great day.